today we're actually going to be creating a new character. Um, we're going to be creating a Jedi Knight. Because, yes. Um, I'm currently having just a little bit of trouble finding... Ooh, these pictures have been updated since I last created a character. Okay, well, there you go. <coughs> having trouble finding a group for uh, I will face down all something I'm doing in my other Let's Play series. So we're going to start this Let's Play series. Uh, let's go find a good face for him. Um, and we'll find a face later. No scars. Not really a complexion. Let's give this guy red eyes or orange eyes or whatever. That looks cool. Um, let's go find the horns that I like. That might help me find the right face. There we go. Don't care about hair color, skin color is close enough. Uh, let's get a good. What was that one? Seven? Seven's okay. For tattoos. Oh, I do like four also. Yeah, let's do four. Now the head. Yeah, that looks like him. Okay, and if the name is available, let's try it. Sweet. This is Kazoro, the Jedi Knight. Yeah, so I'm going to be updating this Let's Play uh, occasionally. I my main focus is still going to be on Kaz Thor, and we're going to skip this part. We don't skip very much, but we're going to skip that part. If you really want to see it, the game is free to play, and it's right there at the beginning after you create a character, so go for it. Um, yeah, I will be updating this. I'll try and update uh, Kazoro at least once a week. But for now, I will still be focusing on Kaz Thor as much as I can when I can find you know, groups as needed for the group-oriented objectives that I'm trying to accomplish. I'll try and make at least one update every night, though. So, there we go. Here we are, the to Jedi Knight Kazoro. The temple is looking forward to meeting you. Your former masters praise your combat skills. They say you're becoming an expert duelist. It's easy to excel when you're trained by the best. The Jedi Council will assign you a new master to oversee your final trials. You'll be tested in ways you can't imagine. But when you leave Tython, you'll know what it means to be a Jedi Knight. More importantly, you'll know yourself. I'm eager to face these trials. Where do I start? There's a speeder here that will take you to... Hang on. Getting an emergency signal. Under attack. Repeat, under attack. Flesh Raiders are invading the Padawan Trading Ground. Flesh Raiders? Armed with blasters? He must be mistaken. I'm mistaken or not, that Padawan is under attack. They've never come this close before. Flesh Raiders are a species of hostile natives. They're smart enough to use tools and violent beyond reason. I'm sending every able-bodied Jedi down to the Padawan Training Grounds right away. Especially you. What makes me any better than the others? You've been trained for dangers like this. I know I can count on you. Take the speeder outside to the training grounds, push back the flesh raiders, and find out if they're really using advanced weapons. Go. I'll catch up with you after I alert the Jedi Council. May the Force be with you. Alrighty, so we're supposed to head down to the Gnarls. And work things out. Alright, let's get things the way I like it. Zoom down on the minimap. Let's get rid of a bunch of these uh, tutorials, because I don't like seeing them. It's all the same stuff from my other Let's Play series. Oh, we're going to go use my 
There, that interface, that looks good. Okay. Um, let's see, you go there, you go there, you go there and activate, and turn on run, because I like run turned on, rocket boost, and get myself my buff. Now this buff for the Jedi Knight and the Sith Warrior is called Force Might. And it increases your melee range, force, and tech bonus. And healing by 5%. Pretty good, if I do say so myself. Oh, and we also want to... Oh, button. I button. There we go. Get out my med packs there so I can use them in emergency, but I almost never use med packs. It really is just emergency stuff. Okay, zoom back out. There we go. Okay. Now let's head down to the gnarls. Mechanized travel is for official business only. Sufficient credits. That's right, I have zero credits. You don't see those red ones very often, but there you go. Reminds you that sometimes the taxis do cost money. Or in fact they almost always do. They occasionally they don't. Alright, and a side mission here. Let's go, Master Relnix. Come here, quickly. The training grounds are not safe today. Night Weller sent me to help with the Flesh Raiders. I'm combat trained and ready to help. And the force is with us. A few Padawans here can make that claim. The Flesh Raiders moved into the training grounds, organized and ready, attempting to isolate various groups of Padawans. There's a group of students in the hills we lost track of. They're not combat trained. Don't worry. Those Padawans will get home safe. I promise. I've got a beacon here. If you can find the Padawans and set the beacon, we'll send an evac shuttle as fast as we can. A group of Jedi from the temple is headed this way, but maybe not fast enough. May the Force be with you. Alright, so we need to find some missing students. I do have seven male items. Uh, let's go take care of those now. Let's see what we got in here. Welcome to Rise of the Hut Cartel. Here's some commendations. Um, I don't really want that. We'll leave those in the email for now. These emails never disappear, by the way. They're always there. I'll just grab the ones that look somewhat in there that won't mess me up. Like, they won't fill up my inventory unnecessarily. And there. So these two are titles Test Pilot and The Illustrious. So I can add those as character titles. This one is for my Stronghold. And we have some Astromech Droids. Okay, so for the droids, they're in pets. They don't do anything except follow you around, so I might turn it on just because it's cool. Otherwise, I don't really care. Okay, and titles. Let's turn on Test Pilot. And I have Cartel Security from my Legacy cause, because reasons. Okay. And we have another one of those. Okay, we're ready to start running these quests. Now, the Jedi Knight mission, I just have to defeat ten Flesh Raiders. I will do that long before anything else happens. So let's come down here and start working on some other stuff. Well, there's a chest there, but I think that guy's going for it. But there is a mission down here. Alright, so for the Jedi Knight, their combat bar is called uh, Focus. Dead Padawan lies in the cage, succumbed to his wounds. The Flesh Raiders have apparently been trying to capture some Padawans alive. There might be other Flesh Raider cages in the area. Alright, so I'm supposed to find other Flesh Raider cages like that one and release them. Okay, as I was saying, uh, Focus is the mana for Jedi Knights. <laughs> And you'll find that some abilities increase your focus, give you more focus, and other abilities use focus. 
<clears throat> Let's see. Let's go find the missing students while I'm back here. So you have to balance the bigger moves with the smaller moves. It becomes a balancing game of do you want to do the smaller moves and get more focus? Or do you want to do the bigger moves and uh, use up your focus? That's the whole idea. Um, this uh, hologram thing, that's part of the uh, Jedi Counselor quest, so we can safely ignore those as a Jedi Knight, but if you're running a Jedi Counselor, keep an eye on those and go find them all. They should be marked on your map from your class quest. Here's another one of these Padawans I can free. So for now, we've got our Strike, which only does a little bit of damage. That builds up, it looks like, two focus per hit. And then Slash, which uses up three focus per hit, but does considerably more damage. Those seem to be the only attacks that I have right now. Never fear, though. We will get more attacks. Shortly. So, I already got all the Flesh Raiders there. Alright, let's get somewhere safe. Oh, you're gonna take that one. Gee, thanks. Okay, what's up? You're unharmed. Good. Flesh Raider shot me in the leg while I was rescuing some Padawans. Don't know where these things got blasters, but I know how to use them. I've been evacuated to a med center, but the fighting isn't over. I'll push back the enemy, whatever it takes. We need to stop them at the source. Another Padawan found a cave tunnel the Flesh Raiders used to enter this valley. I need you at that tunnel, making sure the Flesh Raiders don't get any more reinforcements through it. I'll find this cave tunnel and seal it. We need to end this conflict before anyone else gets hurt. Find the tunnel along the mountain range. May the Force be with you. Oh, look, he didn't. Yeah, we'll take this then, since that guy doesn't have that quest. Alright, so now we gotta go enter this cave. We'll get there eventually. For now, here are the missing battle ones. How's he looking? He should be resting in the Jedi Temple. But if you're determined to press on, I can help him along. Give him the last of the Kolto if you have to. We'll fight again soon. Hey! Good to see another Padawan alive out here. You're lucky those creatures haven't caught you yet. I've been searching for you. What happened out here? You, you they'd sent rescuers. We came seeking knowledge of the Jedi Code. The Flesh Raiders interrupted our trial. Never fought like that in my life. We killed it, but Jaredin was badly injured. Your friend, how serious is the wound? It pains him greatly. He should not be moving. It is not the Jedi way to seek battle and revenge while a man suffers. That's your opinion, Mineus. It's not what we decided. Training or not, a bunch of animals won't keep us from becoming Jedi. Isn't she right? Jedi don't give up, do they? She is wrong. Remember the Jedi Code. There is no passion. There is serenity. That's enough, Mineus. If you want to help us, we could use you. Help make the Flesh Raiders pay. You're walking a dangerous path. You and your friends need to get back to camp while you still can. But we're so close to finishing the trial. No, we are not. I see you have a signal beacon. Leave it for us, and as soon as we have gathered our things, we will signal for a ride back. Alright, level two. Let me get some more of these. You can pause and read them if you want. I'm just going to skip through them mostly. It's all the same stuff I've seen before. Now the focus does uh, slowly go down to zero after battle. So you need to be prepared to start at zero at the beginning of every battle. And if you actually happen to start 
higher, then that's a bonus. Alright, I need how many more? Four more flush raiders and one more captured Padawan. Alright, let's get those four flush raiders down there. And then we'll go find uh There's the bonus. And one more captured Padawan. Oh, you saw me. You mink a cat. That's okay. Sharp tusk. I guess I'll need to take one more hit. Here's the last Padawan freed. Excellent. I'm actually going to head over here to the beginning area again. Use this. Oh, I need to turn on my cooldown text. I'll do that between episodes. And what we need to do over this way is I'm going to turn in quests. Oh, did some mink cats see me? Oh yes, two little ones in their mouth. Oh. Hey, I got some pants. They give me better armor. I'll wear them. Um, the Jedi Knight, as you're starting out, you'll see that the Jedi Knight wears medium armor. And the Jedi Knight's main stat is Strength. So keep that in mind as you're looking for gear. You want medium strength armor. Now the Jedi Knight and the Sith Warrior are the only base classes that can actually change um, from medium to heavy based on which advanced class you choose. And so, I will be keeping that a secret for now. You can see when I choose my advanced class, which direction I'll be going here. And a rescue speeder is on its way. You really came through for those Padawans. One of them was injured. You need to send a medic with the rescue team. Standard procedure. They're in good hands. You probably want to get back to your trials. Again, thank you. And may the Force be with you. Alright, we got some good boots there. Let's put those on. Oh yeah. Now we're cooking. Alright. Let's train Lavish some abilities. With someone talented. Force leap. Now force leap. The enemy has to be somewhere between 10 and 30 meters away from you. Uh, by the way, walk by this Uxie Beast and you get Codex entry. Just little tidbit there. Um, yeah. Let's keep going now. Um, yeah, let's be between 10 and 30. And then you can actually jump over to the enemy. And it builds focus, I believe. Builds three focus, yeah. So it's a great, great starter for battle. Get used to starting battle with the f Force Leap. That's just what you use to start battle as a Jedi Knight. And we got a lore object here. Excellent. back here and we're gonna head into this Gnarl's Cavern to try and stop the Flesh Raiders at the source. This is my Jedi Knight class quest here. For those of you who haven't seen, that green doorway it means it's a phase. That means that each area inside here is different 
for everybody that enters it. So if another Jedi Knight comes along, they could be in this exact same area at the exact same time. There's the tutorial on it. But yeah, they'll be in the same area at the same time and have the same enemies and we won't be competing for resources. Now they do it like that sometimes because they have to uh, separate, you know, they have some uh, plot specific devices that may happen in here that they don't want to be missing when you come along. So that's why. Force charge is really good to jump in for. Alright. We got another thing on vendors. Yes, we'll have to sell a bunch of this junk. Uh, we will do that eventually. For now, let's talk to these guys. Stop struggling, Padawan. Your life was over the moment you set foot here. Because the order must evolve, and you are weak. Whoever you are, step away from that Padawan. You are... dangerous. You killed my soldiers. He commands the Flesh Raiders attacking us. Not attacking, cleansing. And we have only begun. Lay down your weapons. I don't want to hurt you. The old order is dead. Finally, the new order. Okay. I took out his friends first because I didn't want the extra damage coming in at me. There we go. Now I can heal back up. Oh, there you go. Enemy difficulty. He was a strong enemy. That was amazing. I thought we were dead. Did you all right? What happened here? The Jedi attacked us, Master Orgus. He was sick, confused. Thank the Force that you're both safe. This man's no Jedi. At least not one of us. He organized the attack on the training grounds. Called the Flesh Raiders his soldiers. I warned the Council these natives aren't mindless beasts. This is proof. This lightsaber, there's something familiar about it. Strange. You held off all these attackers by yourself with only a practice saber. Impressive. I followed my instincts. That's all. They served you well. This battle's over, but we don't want any more flesh raiders coming through here. That should hold them back for now. I want to learn how to do that. I'll spend a few decades practicing, and you'll pick it up in no time. I'm injured, Master Orgus. Are the training grounds safe for travel? I'll get you to a med center. You seem all right to travel alone. Report to the Jedi Council. I only just arrived on Tython. Where am I going? Follow the path leading out of this valley. You'll find the Jedi Temple through the mountain pass. See you there. Alright, so now we gotta leave the cave. Head all the way down to the Jedi Temple. Now what I'm going to do... Well, first of all, let's turn on some of these... Things that I like to see. Okay. First of all, we're going to quick travel back to there. Um, if you notice, there was a quick travel 
marker there. Currently, there's a uh, there's an event going on, a story, an epic story event, and part of that event unlocks any quick travel points just when you unlock the area that it's sitting in. But if once that's done, all you have to do is walk up to these. It'll say undiscovered right over here, and you just right click on them, and then. It'll unlock them like that, and then you can use them whenever you want. For now, though, you don't have to because of the event. Okay, my skills with someone talented. Okay, we can spar any time. Force sweep. And here we're gonna sell our stuff, repair your damaged gear, and we click sell junk. It sells all the just lootable junk that you get that's not useful for anything. Okay, force sweep is an AOE attack. Anything within. 5 meters? Up to 8 enemies within 5 meters. And it actually stuns them if they're uh, weaker enemies, if they're not strong or better. Alright, and on the way to the temple, I happen to know that these white flesh raiders are part of a bonus. You'd look for these little white ones here and kill several of them to get the bonus. Come and get me. Ha ha ha. Okay. I've got two. I think there's a two pack up here. Yeah. There we go. I'll take out these two. And that should be the bonus. So there's this little. That. And that'll stun them for a little while. And there's the bonus. Simple. Okay, well, Force Sweep looks like it costs three focus. So, you do have to have some focus to use it. You'll get used to it. The Jedi Knight's probably one of the weirder uh, classes to get used to their mana pool, their focus thing. Uh, but I guess that's what, you know, watching tutorials could be for, or whatever. Just it's hard to get used to at first. You'll get used to it if you practice it. And I have quite a bit. I've played several Sith Warriors and Jedi Knights. Looks like there's some bonus quests here. Woohoo! Right, let's go pick both of these bonus quests Hi, up. Ron. I heard you've begun your trials. Master Orgus speaks very highly of you. No doubt you're pleased to have come this far. But some Jedi have the ability to do more. Help more people. Interested? Always looking for a way to help. A war is brewing in the greater galaxy. The Sith Empire plots against the Republic, and the Republic looks to the Jedi for aid. But not all who train to become Jedi are skilled combatants and leaders. Many are scholars, diplomats, strategists, and scientists. Which is why we've created a simulation to test Jedi and Padawans and certify them to lead Republic troops. You want me to participate in a simulation? That's what I'm asking. The droids here in the yard have been programmed to act according to Imperial military protocols and battlefield tactics. Demonstrate your proficiency at defeating these droids, and you will be on your way to qualifying to lead Republic troops into battle. Can you do it? This is almost going to be too easy for me. Excellent. The first set of training droids are ready for you. Get to it. Alrighty. So there are a few of these training areas around here. Um... And after somebody uses it for these quests, um, this little post will go inactive. But there's a bunch. There's one here, there's one there. Uh, I think there's one back there. There's one all the way up at the top over here. If you look. So yeah, there's a bunch everywhere. So just walk around and find one or stand in line if it's really busy. Anyway, just activate it. And then between one and four droids will show up. And you gotta defeat them. Simple as that. And then you just go back and talk to him again. Quest completed. Except this guy gives you the quest 
several times throughout the planet as you keep coming back here to the Jedi Temple, and it keeps getting harder. I'm impressed. Hopefully we'll have something more challenging for you soon. So, yeah. Keep an eye out for him. He'll have more quests for us later. That's why those areas tend to get busy. And we have another quest here. Even. Peace unto you, friend. I bear word from the Masters of the Temple. Will you take a moment and hear my message? By all means, my friend. Let us talk. You do me great honor. Your present mission is all important, but the Masters want to make sure you do not miss what the Temple has to offer. When you have time, see Master Mujida. He will guide you in the other skills of the Jedi. Okay, and that's a very, very simple quest. Um, yeah, we're gonna use our holocom now that we've arrived at the Jedi Temple. Padawan, I'm Satil Shan, leader of the Jedi Council. I'd like to speak privately with you before we meet with the others. You have my full attention, Master. What do you need? This isn't a discussion for a comm channel. Come to my meditation room in the temple. We'll talk there. Ooh, mysterious. But what does Satil Shan have to say to us? Find out next time. And let's play Star Wars The Old Republic. Uh, this is Kizoro, signing off. Thanks for watching.